Utah's Democratic Party recently threw their own Senate candidate under the bus to endorse an independent. The independent in question is Evan McMullen. You might remember him from 2016, when he launched an independent campaign for president to defeat Donald Trump. Now, he's running for Senate on the same anti-Trump, anti-extremism platform. He's trying to defeat the Republican nominee, Senator Mike Lee, who Trump has endorsed. One recent poll has McMullen within a few points of Lee, though many voters are still undecided. To learn more about McMullen and his chances in Utah, I called up Glenn Mills, an anchor and political correspondent for ABC4 in Utah. So who is Evan McMullen? When did you first come into contact with him? He came on the scene of Utah politics as a long shot candidate for president in 2016. He quickly made a name for himself as an independent candidate on the presidential ticket here in the state of Utah for 2016. So he comes from an intelligence background. He worked for the CIA. There's not a lot of information on him for obvious reasons because of the work that he did prior to this. According to some of McMullen's former colleagues, he worked as an undercover officer in Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and North Africa, where he, quote, had a unique talent for recruiting members of extremist organizations as assets. Then he came back to the U.S., got an MBA, worked for Goldman Sachs, and volunteered for Mitt Romney's campaign in 2012. He became the chief policy director for the House Republican Conference before quitting to run for president. There was a very interesting divide in Utah. You remember President Trump on the campaign trail before 2016 mentioning that he had a Utah problem. In other words, this red state where people were breaking away and not supporting him. They were having a hard time with his demeanor and his behavior. McMullen ended up getting about 240,000 votes in his home state, more than 20% of the vote. But he's continued to keep his name out there as a vocal Trump critic, which he's hoping will give him a boost in the current run for Senate, ironically against one of his former supporters, Senator Mike Lee. Lee strongly opposed Trump in 2016, before cozying up to the former president once he was in office, to the point that in January 2021, Lee texted Mark Meadows that he was spending 14 hours a day trying to unravel the election results. Now, Lee's running for re-election with Trump's endorsement, while McMullen is running with the support of Utah's Democratic Party after a contentious vote where they decided to support him over an actual Democrat. But Democratic voters might be wary of a candidate who ran on conservative values in 2016. We are starting to see him pivot specifically. He made it very clear when he was running for president in the state of Utah that he was the only candidate on the ticket that wanted Roe v. Wade overturned. He is now saying he doesn't believe that is the right way forward. And that could be this new dynamic in which he needs to appeal to a new base. Does it seem like McMullen has a real shot of winning? I've seen something I've never seen before in the state of Utah, and that is this coalition of Republicans, Democrats, and unaffiliateds forming together to support Evan McMullen. If you consider that Mike Lee is one of the farthest right members of Congress, and only 14% of registered voters in Utah are Democrats, it makes sense why the Democratic Party might try something like this. But whether their gambit pays off remains to be seen. You get this sense that this is going to be a competitive race, but also in the back of your mind, most people are thinking it's going to still be a really uphill battle for an independent candidate out of the state of Utah to be successful in a Senate race. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. It was good talking with you.